to be Nick everybody racing off they go seven furlongs in front of them for the CCR novice stakes for these two-year-olds and high dreams who was very keen to post likewise quite lit up in the early part of this race from whip cracker who's racing a length and a half down in second place early on and then the gray deep Havana tracking on the outside there maroon with those gold stars more towards the inside is newcomer wide margin followed in between horses by the Philly Silver Planner. Back through them to Wanda Smile. A big outsider Potter's Diamond some way behind the others. And they're about to reach the end of the far side. Still racing pretty keenly. High Dreams throwing the head about a bit as they race round the turn by a half a length in front to Whipcracker, who's running in second. So the outside deep Havana tries to join in. It's another one and a half away to wide margin to the inside of Silver Planner. They're in fourth and fifth and then Wanda Smile and Potter's Diamond is well behind. The field advance on the top of the home straight, then High Dreams now pushed along. Whipcracker's come through now to lead. Whipcracker went on from High Dreams to the inside wide margin trying to pick up. Then Deep Havana is about to move up into second place. Wanda Smile is beginning to warm up as well, but Whipcracker has gone beyond recall. Has burst about five lengths clear in no time to Wanda Smile and Deep Havana. And it's Whipcracker after that promising debut off the mark at the second try under Roshi Murphy. Whipcracker the winner, Wanda Smile in second and Deep Havana third and Silver Planner was fourth. First race of the day has been won by Whip Crackle at the market, very much expected. Richard Hughes, the winning trainer, Rasheem Murphy aboard, as you were, Rasheem. Well done indeed. On the debut, were you expecting a performance like that today? I was. Uh, he was very nice on debut, and uh, I didn't get going until late, and I felt like William really dictated on the winner, gave him a lovely ride. So I was hoping he'd take a step forward, and Richard Hughes was delighted with the horse, so this was a good spot for him, and uh, yeah, his stable is flying. Yes, so um, this is a horse maybe to for next year now. Obviously, being by cracksmen, uh, yeah. there aren't lots of them on the ground, but um, there's a few good ones. Just a bit. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity. I know you've got a chance for the night, but it is a massive day. It's a massive day for you on Saturday. And just talk through a couple of the rides that you've got. And you've got some very good ones. Cold train in the long distance race. What happened at Donny last time? I'm unsure. The signs before the race were all good, and I thought in the race we went quite steady, but when Trushan took off early with Holly, I felt like you know, it might open the race up, and we'd definitely finish, and he didn't. So uh, let's see what he can do. He's been perfect since the race. Uh, he loves Ascot. Yes. The top three horses in the race, Kipiros, Trushan and Coltrane are all drawn beside each other, six, seven and eight. And uh, that's quite useful because you're straight into the turn from the two mile start. Well, you have two furlongs, but, um, but uh, yeah, but I'm looking forward to him. He's a big player on the best of his form, we know that. Sandrine, she wasn't beaten that far by Kinross at York. Um, there's been quiet money for her recently. Can you see that she's a likely player in the sprint? Yeah, she gave me a very good feel at Doncaster. And it was the first time I ever rode her was a start before at York. So uh, I didn't really know what I was doing on her. And I put her into the race too soon, uh, or into the firing line too soon. We're drawn 15 of 15. Uh, Probably not the ideal place to be, but if I can tack on to the back of uh, some of the ones going well at halfway, then hopefully she'll finish off. She deserves to win a Group 1. She's a Group winner uh, every year since she came into training. It is phenomenal, and um, yeah, she's been a great servant to Miss Rousing and Parkhouse Stables. Running line goes in the Philly and Mayors race. I know there's a lot of, there was a lot of excitement about her earlier in the year, and she ran well at Newmarket last time, but obviously, I guess, it's, is it looking like a... I know it's different ground, different day, but a tough test to take on time lock again. So I sat too close to a strong pace in Newmarket last night on ground that was a little bit too quick for her as well. But uh, there was a pace collapse from, uh, from four furlongs out and uh, Ryan came from last on time lock with one smooth run. And time lock's actually drawn well again. I think she's drawn inside in one. Right. I'm drawn five. It's a full field of 14. Uh, it's likely going to be quite a messy race. Uh, free wind deserves to be favoured on the best of her form. 
Um, Holly writes sweet memories, who obviously is a filly improving. Competitive, Aiden has a few yeah. in there. But um, it, it tends to go to three-year-olds, this race. Can you see why at this sort of point of the year? Yeah, I can, I can. And listen, I think Running Lion can outrun her uh, rating. I think she's down to 106. I'd hope she'll be running a career best. She's gone a little bit hairy in her coat, but uh, I rode her on Wednesday and she felt really good. Is this the first time you've got the ride on Via Sestina, who's, who's a, a big player, it would seem, in the champion? Yeah, unfortunately, Jamie Spencer is abroad. He's in Australia, so the ride became available, and it was very nice of George Bowie and Stephen Hillen and his wife uh, to think of me, drawn nine of nine beside Baybridge. Uh, you know, I don't know if some of the others might come out, uh, if particularly if even if it's moved to the inside track, if the ground got really slow. Um, but Via Sestina deserved her rating of 118, or I think she's 116, but she ran RPOs of 118. Mm. And uh, in Ireland, I know it was against Phillies, but she looked very good. And um, you think she's been trained for this. Uh, if she got the perfect trip, she, she's a major player. How special a day is this for you? Uh, really important. I've only had one winner there, but uh, Sheikh Fad and his family uh, sponsor the whole event through Kipco. And uh, if we if I could ride another winner there for them or even while they're there they'd be over the moon and obviously uh, it's the best racing really uh, outside of Arc Day and this you know Irish Champions Weekend um, we're very lucky to have them in the calendar and uh, every jockey wants to be competing there and hopefully winning Brilliant, thank you Thank you